Hello everyone, it's Trina here from thereisacardforthat.ca and today I'm going to be making this airplane slider Father's Day card. Uh, so I'm going to start out with a top folding standard A2 sized card base, but you may notice that the front panel, uh, which I'm sponging tumble glass onto right now, is a quarter of an inch shorter. Instead of doing a penny slider like you've seen me do before, um, I'm going to do a pull tab slider. And because I still want the card to be able to fit into an envelope and the pull tab slider has to stick out a little bit, I'm just cutting down front of the card. It looks super cute. So I'm using my homemade cloud border stencil um, and I used the Lawn Fawn stitched cloud border dies to create this out of some stencil material that I'd picked up at my art store. There's a link under the DIY section on my blog so go check that out if you're interested in making your own stencils. I've got like a ton of little borders and stuff on there. And then I had cut out two pieces using the same dies of this cardstock just to add a little bit of interest and dimension to the front of the card. And then it was like really white. <laughs> this whole card's really white. Like I looked at it afterwards and I was like, uh, I don't know how I feel about this card. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of plain. But then I was like, well, it's still a card. So it's not my favorite card, but uh, it, was, it was still super fun to do. So I'm kind of going to stamp this little plane from Lawn Fawn's Plain and Simple stamp set with Memento Tuxedo Black ink on 110 pound Copic friendly cardstock. And then I'm going to color it in using B02, B00, R27, R17, and C1, C3, and C7. So super simple coloring. Just adding a little bit of shading and shadows um, because this is going to be the the slider part. So I wanted it to look, I wanted it to look pretty fun. Like there's like a 747 or what in my head is like a 747 in the stamp set. But this this one's way funner. This plane is just so much more fun. It reminds me of like those county fair planes where they like pull the banners and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. It makes sense in my head. <laughs> so I'm just adding some blue to the wings and the rudder thing on the tail. I don't know what that's called. And then some red to the body and where the propeller hangs onto you. And then the grays are going to be for the rest of the plane. And then of course, like the tire and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just color those in with Copic markers. And then after that, I am going to uh, fussy cut it out, but I cut that part out because it's just it's just fussy cutting. It's super simple image, and really, you don't need to, you don't need to see that, right? <laughs> so now I am going to start placing my pieces together on the front of the card base just to see how I want everything to go. And I'm going to use the long straight slide on over die from Lawn Fawn to cut my slider channel out of the front panel, which we had inked up with the tumbled glass and the cloud stencil. And here I was like, oh, I should probably keep this because it needs to be inlaid in, but it's not a penny slider. I'm using a paper slider. So you would see the paper, not the background. So I end up scrapping that one because at this point I was like, oh, maybe a penny slider. And then I was like, no, no, I already trimmed down the end of the card. This is going to be a tap slider. <laughs> the things that happen are like early in the morning, right? Uh, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to measure out my tap slider. And that's just half an inch wide of the same cardstock and then I'm going to sponge that up a bit because you will be able to see it through the channel so I didn't want it to be stark white because that would just look silly like it has to be has to be blue <laughs> because in my head of course it's going to be blue of course in my head tab sliders also pull planes so <laughs> it all works so I'm lining up my front panel over top of the card base and I'm going to stamp happy father's day into the channel so when you pull the tab of the airplane, the Happy Father's Day greeting is going to be revealed. Super secret fun, right? And then I'm going to line that up where I want it, and then I'm going to add foam tape to the back of the panel to create a, 
an area for the slider to slide. <laughs> Um, because this isn't a penny slider, there's not a whole lot of bulk, so you can get away with just one layer of foam tape. Um, I actually sat there for a couple minutes like, oh, do I need two layers? How am I doing this? How am I doubling this up? But no, we're only doing one layer because it's just the one piece of paper that's going to slide back and forth. And then I'm just going to use a couple little square dots um, to make sure that you can't pull the slider all the way out and that's what's going to adhere the plane down to this. So I'm using the Slide Me stamp from Lawn Fawn's Push Me stamp set. It's their little interactive, this is what you're supposed to do when you get this card stamp set, which is super cute. And I really should use it more often because there's a bunch of interactive cards that I have and like I have the stamp set and I just don't use it. But I thought, ooh, this time I'm gonna. So it's just two little foam squares that happen to fit absolutely perfectly in there and then I'm going to smoosh my plane on and then you can see how it slides across. So I'm just going to clean up my little space because it just gets so cluttered. Like I'm one of those people I have to start a new project with a clear desk. Even if I'm doing back-to-back -back projects it has to be cleared out in between. <laughs> how ridiculous is that right? <laughs> so I'm just going to trim a little piece off of the edge of the slider because it didn't need to be quite that long. And then I'm going to remove all of the release paper from my foam tape. And then I'm going to line it up on the front of the card and complete my, my construction of this little mechanism. And it was somewhere around here where I'm like, ooh, I should really add some more color. But I just, I just had no plan. It was like this crafty block. And like I had this original idea in my head and we're going with it because <laughs> nothing else was happening. I was like, oh, I should add this. And then I didn't. And then I was like, oh, I should add this. And then I didn't. And <laughs> I don't know why, because usually when I'm like flying by the seat of my pants, get it on an airplane card. How funny is that? Um, I'll be like, oh, I should add this. And then I will. <laughs> but this time I just, I just didn't. So I adhere the upper panel of clouds just with foam tape. And that's just a different brand from another dollar store. I think this is one of the ones I got in my stocking at Christmas. We had talked about that before. Um, and it was just the next one that I was I pulled out. It's nothing, nothing super special. I don't even know what brand it is. And then the lower panel of clouds, I added foam tape. And then I'm actually gonna do some stuff on the inside of the card. I'm gonna take some of the greetings and I'm going to use Lawn Fawn's Chili Ink to stamp the word plain. And then I am going to use the you are, you're Awesome portion of the greeting with Memento Tuxedo Black right over top of that. And then I'm going to use And Simple from the same stamp set with the Memento Tuxedo Black as well. I was thinking like, oh, maybe I should make the And Simple coordinate with the blue of the plane, but I didn't have a blue that matched. <laughs> I don't have all the lawn fawn inks yet, so we're getting there. And then I'm going to take the clouds and close to my heart's whisper ink and do some second generation stamping just to make this soft cloud <laughs> just around the thing. So you just stamp it off once and then instead of re-inking it right away, you just stamp it a second time and then you have second generation stamping. And so I did two of the big one and one of the medium one just to just to add some interest to the inside of the card and I'm going to be honest I think I like the inside of the card more than I like the outside of the card <laughs> which is so bad it's so so rare that I'm I don't want to say I'm disappointed I'm less happy about how a card turns out um, so of course I have to add Wink of Stella so I'm going to add Wink of Stella to all of the silvery gray parts of the plane and the wings and then over top of the propeller and the tire, I'm going to add some glossy accents just because it has to shine and <laughs> just has to like a little tiny bit because the rest of this card is super clean and simple. And normally I like clean and simple, but I don't know, maybe this one will grow on me. Who knows? So that is basically our card for today. And you pull it over and there's the happy Father's Day. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will have links to my blog and my Facebook page down below. Please don't forget to subscribe and comment and like me because I love it all. Thanks. Bye.